Model D, uh, live setup part three. Uh, this is with Ableton Live. So this is part three set of videos, just sort of thinking about the Model D um, in a live setup. Although you could say a similar thing for the for the CAT or the Neutron or you know any of those kind of kind of modules. Um, I'm just going to go through you know having it's kind of basically an almost blank live session throw some midi in there and then set up the midi so it sends it to, to the model d and we can hear that super simple again you if, if you work with live you probably know this but um you know just i'll give a, a quick a demo all right cheers folks okay i've got a little um sort of uh demonstration file here called harmonic astronaut uh loaded up into live um these are just some some little bits of audio I've just thrown together. We've got some drums from the drum brute. We've got some pad from some, oh, I think from hell. Yeah, from good old hell. And we've got some sort of sequencing stuff going on here from Largo. And that all sounds kind of nice. And so what we want to do is we want to we're going to add in some little bits of MIDI, which we're then going to sh which we're then going to shoot out to the Model D. So um, let's do this from the get go. So we want to create new MIDI track or I think if you right click in, in that bit of space, we've got the option to do a MIDI track. So obviously we're working with MIDI. OK, um, so create a new slot. Um, where's my bits of MIDI? Arp. Yeah, here we go. Arp one, just drag it in. Arp two, just drag it in. Arp three, just drag it in. Uh, so it's recognised it's called Model D. So what I'm just going to do rename and uh, call that Model D. Um, just because I know these are this is different, like literally different notes. I'm just going to I'm going to keep with the blues, although it's all going a bit blue here. Um, I'll just give it different shades of blue. In this way, if I'm looking at this and I'm sort of, you know, performing, I can see that these are kind of different, you know, musically these are different, whereas like these, which are the same colour, is basically just the same chunk of audio that I'm just copying down. Um, okay, now I know for a fact if I do shift tab, I can see the kind of the clip view here and this looks grand, but I think for the second one, yeah, it's it's got a bit of sort of... Um, I think it's this is the first chunk of MIDI that I didn't export properly. But I'm just going to go to this upper triangle here and just drag that there, which means that's my that's my looping bounds. And the same, yeah. So number three has done the same kind of same kind of dealio. Um, so I'll just I'll just woo, 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 woo. I'll just adjust that there. So I know I'm just going to get the you know <laughs> these bits of notes playing and not silence. Um, so just be aware that you know you can you can you can edit edit your bounds of if you. I mean yeah you know we could you know we could even do sort of you know all kind of crazy sort of uh, stuff like that you know like half half bars and quarter bar loops if if we wanted we could do that. So I'm just going to sort of shift and tab out of there um, because um, I know that um, we're sort of sending this MIDI to the uh, Model D. I'm going to put in a pitch effect under MIDI effects just in case um, it, it's this, this sort of these notes are sounding too high on the Model D. So that's just a simple, you know, um, yeah, up or, up or down, basically. Okay, um, now I'm going to look for my MIDI devices, live preferences, do, do, do link MIDI, and the bits I'm interested in are down here. So we can see that we, under input we've got model D, which is on. So if we wanted to get MIDI from that, from the model D, we, we've got that, but we don't. But output model D, this is what we want, and we want to make sure it's on. 
and we want to make sure that uh, sync is on so the model d takes its tempo from our project so that's pretty simple there don't worry about the control services so there we go so link midi check your output check it's there uh, on and on um, and then what i've done here is i've sort of hidden my io and my send and return so i'm just going to click on io and you'll see all these panels appear so for the audio ones i've just set the audio to no no audio output audio to master all right fairly fairly straightforward there uh, midi ins i don't need to worry about them so i can ignore that but it's the midi out i need if i select here boom there we go model d awesome channel one yes and i know it's set on channel one because uh, so i set my dip switches at the back and i know i've also set it using the uh the app whatever that app's called so that should be fine um we'll just have to press a button on my mixer so we can hear the model d there we go um Let's test it out by lovely. Um, I'm just going to take this down an octave. There we go. start firing off our uh, sort of uh, clips I'll, I'll, I'll just do it as a kind of horizontal run <laughs> how good does that sound Great, 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 great. And there we go. That's uh, a nice little, and this is sort of, you know, the horizontal sort of sort of view, um, sort of typical, well, what I think is a typical sort of live setup. Obviously, you know, similar deal if we're doing a kind of more traditional door based, um, uh, sorry, well, sorry, this is, this is the horizontal, this is the horizontal view, isn't it? Um, see, that's the vertical view, the more typical view sorry about that but similar deal if you're doing things with clips in it in, in this sort of uh horizontal view you know just set your ios up um as you would there you know again showing showing high just works the same way so it's just yeah different slightly different view but similar setup uh and equally you know that could be a, a, a you know a two minute long bit of midi uh that you've got here you know it'll show it'll obviously show here as a thing you know just yeah set up your effects any midi effects you want set up your your send on your midi and bob's your uncle you are good to go and that wraps up part three um take care folks cheers wow.